Hey everybody, today we're looking at lesson 3-1, estimate products. I can estimate products using mental math. And remember, when we're estimating, the reason we're doing this estimating is to make sure that our answer is reasonable. We're not doing this to add extra work in our life. We're just doing it to make sure that what we're saying is close, like close to, um, is a reasonable answer. So let's look at this first part. It says a school club wants to buy shirts for its 38 members. Each shirt costs $23. About how much money will all the shirts cost? Solve this problem any way you choose. So we have $23. That's how much each shirt costs. And there's 38 members. Our question says about how much money will the shirts cost? I'm going to actually keep underlining that question. We can solve this any way we choose to. I'll show you what I would do if I was doing this problem. I would, since I'm looking for an about how many, I'm going to estimate that my 38 members is about 40. Okay, so we're going to estimate to that, round it to about 40, and then each shirt costs about $20. So I'm going to say 40 times 20. Now, that's mental math. I can do that real quick. I know that 4 times 2 is 8, and there's 1, 2 zeros that I would add behind it, so it would be about $800. Okay? Another thing that you could do is you could round this up to about 25. So each shirt costs about $25. And there's about 40 members, so we would multiply that by 40 members. I know that 25 times 4 is 100, and then I would add my zero at the end. So it would cost about $1,000. Both of those ways would work. Let's go to the next page. This question, or this problem says, a store needs at least... $15,000 in sales per month to make a profit. If the store is open every day in March and the sales average $525 per day, will the store make a profit in March? So we need at least $15,000 in sale and it is open every day in March and then the sales average $525 a day, is it going to make a profit? So we see right here, there's 31 days in March. So what we're doing right here, it says use rounding to estimate, which is typically what we do normally. That's a little bit easier. So we know that 525 rounds to about $500. 31, the, remember 31 days in the month of March rounds to 30, so you would multiply 30 times $500. Three times five we know gives us 15, and then we add one, two, three zeros to the end, so it would be 15,000. Both of the numbers that we used to estimate were at least, were sorry, were less than, I want you to underline, less than the actual numbers. So 15000 is an underestimate. The store will actually have more than $15,000 in sale because we rounded down when we talked about the number of months that we did 30 instead of 31, and we rounded down when we talked about the amount of money instead of two. $525, we rounded down to 500. So we know that they're gonna make a sale or a profit because we rounded down in both of them and we still got $15,000. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, let's go to another example on the next page. This one says, estimate 24 and 398. So this one, 25 and 40, 400 are compatible numbers because their products are easy to compute mentally. Again, round a little, not rounding, but we know factors of 25 are a little bit easier than doing it by 30. So we have 25 times and four, instead of 398, we have 
400. So we would multiply 25 times 4, which we know is 100. And then 25 times 40, we add an extra zero, so it's 1,000. 25 times 400, we would add two zeros, extra zeros, it would be 10,000. So $10,000 is a good estimate for 24 times 398. Both numbers used to estimate were greater than the actual value, so 10,000 is an overestimate. So it's gonna be more than the actual because we rounded or we went a little bit higher than both of these numbers. Hopefully you're able to see that. We went a little higher with 25 and 24, and then with this one we went a little higher with that. Okay, so let's go down to number one. It says each egg carton holds one dozen eggs. Remember, one dozen is how many? 12, good. Michael's chicken farm fills 121 egg cartons. He thinks that there are over 1,500 eggs or 1,500 eggs. Is he correct? So if we look at this, we have 121 egg cartons, okay? And he thinks that there are over 1,500 eggs. We need to figure out if he correct. So if we, it says use an estimate to find out, we have 12 times 121 egg cartons because there's 12 eggs in one dozen and 121 egg cartons. So we're going to, again, we're going to estimate. I would round this to 10, okay? It would round down to 10. And I would estimate this to be, I would say 120 because it's close. I could also do 100 and it would be fine, but this was just as close and I can do mental math for this. So I know that one times 12 is 12, and then I add my two zeros at the end. So he said this was about how much it's gonna be. He thinks that it there are over 1,500 eggs. So will that work? No, because we're estimating that it would be 1,200 eggs. So we don't think that that would be a reasonable estimate. So no. We don't think that would be a reasonable amount. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one says estimate, then tell if your estimate is an overestimate or an underestimate. So let's look at this one. We have 29 times 688. So let's round this. I would say let's round it to 30 times. What could we round this to? If I was rounding it to the biggest place value, and when I've been helping kids with these problems, I'm always saying round it to the biggest place value if you're like, I have no clue what to do. In that case, just round it to the biggest place value. So in this case, six, the hundreds place is our biggest place. Eight tells us six to go up to a seven, so that would be 700, which would be 21 with one, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros. So 21,000. Now, is this an overestimate or an underestimate? Well, if we, we round it up to 30 on this one and we round it up to 700 on this one, so that would be an overestimate. Overestimate, because we're going over on both of those. Now let's do this one. We have 210 and 730. I'm rounding to the hundreds place because that is the biggest place value on both of them. So I have 200 times 700 equals, I know that seven times two is 14, and then I need to add one, two, three, four zeros, one, two, three, four zeros, put my comma there, it would be 140,000. Now, is that an overestimate or an underestimate? Well, we rounded down to 200, and we also rounded down to 700, so it would be an underestimate. All right, now I want you to try number four on your own. I want you to pause the video, and then when you unpause it, check your work. Did you get 4,000? 
if you did, that's what I got. And I also realized that that's an underestimate because my 40, 43 went down to 40 and my 108 went down to 100. All right, now do it one more time for five just to check your work. Pause the video. If you said 280,000, that would be an overestimate. Or sorry, that would, that's what I got. If you got something a little bit different, that is also fine. This is just the easiest way that I found to do it. And it would be an overestimate because we're going more than 380 and we're also going more than 690. Okay, so the ones that I want you to do for extra practice today are number six, number eight, number 11, number 13, number 14, number 16, flip to the back. I want you to do this, number 18, number 19, and at the bottom, those silent vote ones, 23 and 24, okay? Do your best, take your time. If you have any questions, please, please, please make sure you ask for help. Bye guys.